Welcome back guys, I'm Adam from Emblem. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to create a curated collection vault on Emblem. So this is brand new, this is in testing phase, but I wanted to walk you through and give you a step-by-step -step to make it easy for you. So let's go. So I'm on the Emblem homepage here and I'm gonna click Create Curated. That's gonna bring me to the curated section of the website. And I'm gonna select Emblem Test. It's the only one available right now. And I'm gonna do the common card, but you can select whatever card you want or whichever card you have and want to create the vault for. And then just click Create Vault. And guys, any time in here where a page is kind of in this loading stage, just give it a bit of time, refresh the page if you need to, but it does take some time to load these pages. So as I scroll down below, um, before I can mint the vault, I actually have to send the asset into the vault, okay? So I'm gonna click that button right there and copy that address. That's where I'm gonna send the NFT to. Uh, I'm gonna right click on the NFT in my free wallet and paste that address into the destination. I'm gonna select max there. So I do the full card because these are fractional cards. So I'm gonna select max and then click send funds and the yes button and click okay. And that'll begin the process. Now this can take uh, several minutes, right? It's going through Bitcoin. So it does take several minutes often to get this done and you'll see kind of a spinning wheel, meaning that it's working on it, okay? Now, if it seems to be taking quite a long time, what you can do is you can always refresh the page. You can actually go back and click on uh, my vaults and look at the non-minted vaults and reopen it again, reopen that page. Still spinning there. I can click the refresh balances tab. That'll help. I can also go back to my free wallet, uh, refresh that page and look at the sent item. So I can click on the sent button there and click the green button. And that'll actually take me to the X chain address. And it's gonna tell me, look, this is still pending. So you gotta give these things time, right? So it's still pending. But if I give it, you know, just a minute or so more, refresh the page and the transactions actually taking place. So I go back to emblem now and maybe refresh the, the balance one more time. If it doesn't kind of work, look, this takes time. It's, it's queuing the blockchain. So it might take a little bit of time, but as I refresh it eventually will pop up in there. And now I'm ready to mint the vault, but obviously this is still grayed out where it says mint vault. So you may need to go back and kind of refresh the page. The best way to do that is go to my vaults, click on the my vaults button, go to non-minted right there, click that, click on the NFT again and scroll down and then the mint vault button is available. So go ahead and click that uh, in your MetaMask, go ahead and, and confirm that transaction. Mine costs about what, 672. So six, $7, somewhere around that range is about right. If it's much more than that, you might want to refresh and try again, reject the transaction and try again. And so once it's, once it's doing it, um, I can check on it by clicking that button in the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, it's already happened successfully on Etherscan. I can see that, but it's not showing on my page yet. So again, you might need to refresh the page. This is like, this is the way it works right now on the website. It's, it's a little bit clunky and we apologize for that. We are tr doing our best to fix that but it is queuing the blockchain and stuff. So it, it does uh, take a bit of time for it all to kind of line up correctly. So I kind of refresh it here, come back and you can see it's now available. I can see it, you can see it on OpenSea. You can click the OpenSea link. Uh, you can see on OpenSea, I could sell the item if I wanted to right now. Uh, that means it's in my wallet for sure, but I might need to refresh it again. And look, I, I had to do it like three times here just to let you know it's not uncommon. The NFT is not going to be lost. It's still there. So you can refresh. You can go away from the page, reload the page. I'm going to click the non-minted uh, button again, not minted button, scroll down. And there you have it. It's, it's there on OpenSea. I can actually claim or crack open the vault and bring it back to Counterparty if I wanted to on that button right down there at the bottom, or just click on OpenSea and uh, sell it, transfer it, do whatever I want with it. Um, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see it's been minted down below from the null address to you or me. And that's how you do it, guys. So hope that helps and uh, we'll see you on the next one.